Okay, welcome back to the channel. We are doing some Hanma players iron testing today. The TR20? Yep. P and V P models. And v. Very handsome. It's one of those ones that reminds me of when Strix and First came, mm. came into the marketplace mm -hmm. and uh, we would put it in fits and give it to people and they would maybe go, I haven't heard of you yeah. know, Strixen before. And more people have heard of Honma than they had of Strixen at the time, but they still question, what, is it, what does this one do that yes. P790 doesn't, doesn't do? Or why am I not trying a Titleist or a Ping? I also think Hanma does fight in the, in the general market. They fight the gold driver bias. People yeah. think that they're the ones that make <laughs> yeah. gold drivers, which they do. Sure. But the North American product, to be honest, has been really good. Yeah. Like, I'm expecting these to perform really well based on what we saw with the TWX last year. No question. Uh, and, and, you know, I have the advantage of having seen a year's worth of yeah. testing and performance with it, and I, I know how well they stand up against anything. If you look at what's inside the head, uh, it's kind of what all the best irons have anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and the, the P, which we're going to test first, mm. you've got the cup face, you've got the yep. tungsten, you know, you've, you've kind of got all the, the undercut. You've got all the forgiveness in, inside a really good looking package. It's funny you say that. I'm just looking at their website right now. That tungsten piece, yeah. it's a little bit toe side. Definitely. It's a little definitely. T100S kind of flavor on it. The, the MOI enhancer by mm. putting that weight down and in the toe, pulling that CG out there, just spreading the mass. See, obviously, you've got the, the mass of the hosel and everything heel side. Well, you yeah. need a little bit of toe side mass to offset that to create the balance of the head. And you had said... Uh, Strix on ZX5 yeah. is probably the closest competitor to the one you're holding. To, and then the one, one I have here is the V, which is more the player's one. That would be more the ZX7. Definitely. Um, and that's a, such a nice place for Strix to have evolved into yeah. other irons. We're comparing them to, because we used to do that for the longest time with Strix on clubs. True. We used to go, well, you know, this, this, you know, 745 or 765 is like a, you know, this. But yeah. now, now the Strix is what we compare it to. But I think it's a good comparison because you're dealing with forged body mm. and then obviously a fast uh, cut face, to, uh, your cast face on the P, and then you've got the one piece forging on the V. Just a more traditional cavity Definitely. on this one. Yeah. It looks like it has quite a bit of forgiveness though, just from the shape of it. it does. But this would be your better player's iron. You mm -hmm. would have the one 10 handicap to 20 or so, is that? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and honestly, I'll let me, even, even, even you know, more advanced players who maybe flight the ball up a little bit. They mm. are stronger loft. Yeah. Um, six iron comes in at 27 on the on the P, 28, 28 on the V. Yeah. Yep. So another reason, that's that's again, <clears throat> that's right in Strixen territory. It's perfect. It's exactly where they are. So um, what that allows us to do based on the looks, I mean, they're very similar. Yes. The comboing oh. possibilities are, are really high with this. Would be a really nice blended set. Maybe yeah. those in the four and five iron and the six iron, and then these in the short iron. Yep. Still plenty of forgiveness, but I guess bring the trajectory down a little bit. And, and a little bit of a uh, look into uh, 2021, we mm. saw just there that the TR21X yes. has been released. So the TWX that we spoke about earlier that we love, the new one of that has just uh, been released and it, it, it looks, looks handsome good. as well, doesn't it? It looks extremely good. I, I, I still think last year's was a very good looking iron. Yeah. This is a better looking version of it's it. It's an upgrade, isn't it? I hope they keep all the same performance and the feel. Yeah. The look, like the blade length of that was all perfect. So that'll be yeah. upcoming once we get those. We have them in the, the build shop. Oh, already. good. So the next couple I've weeks. Seen, uh, I've Perfect. seen that the, there's a set in there. They, they must have been ordered for someone. Beautiful. I was in the inventory store yesterday and I literally saw a set sitting out and I was kind of Ooh. eyeing them up. It, they look really nice. Good. All right. So let's start with let's start with that P model that you yeah. have there, the more forgiving model, a little bit faster one. We should <clears> expect <throat> to see quite a bit of output, some good ball speed from those. Good ball speed, um, reasonable launch, and mm. a reduction in the spin. Right, so it should, it should help people that balloon the ball up quite a bit. Definitely. Uh, I think, you know, we, we try and kind of put ourselves in the positions even when we're delivering them at times. So maybe yeah. for someone, uh, this type of iron, for the, the person who's a little bit, you know, across it. Okay. It's creating a little bit too much spin. You know, the yep. pl uh, players who are maybe spinning six iron in the six to seven and a half thousand range. Right. Trying to bring that down into maybe the five and a half thousand range. So you don't be lose all that distance. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right, well, let's see a few with that. That's a nice start there. That sounded really good. Yeah, that was that was actually a wee bit thin. It felt low in the head, but I'm thinking mm. that's exactly where we'll see the best of that cup face and that tungsten. Re I mean, efficiency is that's crazy. Yeah, good. Wow, good. Yeah. Your launch and spinner are also fantastic. Mm -hmm. Worse. <laughs> really? Slightly more thin. 
Um, you lost four yards off your, your target carry there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. So probably another half groove low. Yeah. I mean, so here's something that better players talk of and one of the reasons they avoid these clubs. So I've, I've kind of called that pretty early there that that's slightly lower than the first one and it was by yeah. the tune of what, two or three millimeters? Yes. One thing better players avoid with cavity backs is they don't get feedback. I, I got all the feedback off those two. Because they want to know where they struck it. Yeah. And if yeah. it's too much of a game improvement head, what, it dulls the sensation? Correct. You, yeah. you know, you just go, uh, I don't know how I'm hitting it today. Mm. Am I good? Am I bad? I can't have, you don't have anything to work off it's of. It's a great point because you still got a good result. Yeah. But there's really no downside in knowing that it wasn't the best strike. Better yeah. that you knew that than you hit a million balls thin. For and sure. then you find out, oh no, those were thin. Yeah. <laughs> It was a little higher up the head. Yeah, it sounded a little bit yeah. different. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, lots more carry on that too. Dropped your spin slightly, but yeah. certainly not anywhere near being too low in spin. Not even close. A few more yards of carry with a better strike, yep. a little bit more ball speed. That's, that's nice. Yeah, th this is a powerful iron, That's Matty. a lot of output. This is really powerful. It's yeah. uh, a lot of players who, if, if they maybe play a golf ball that they want to spin with the wedges, they can maybe offset that with a, an iron that doesn't really climb and spin, so they can kind of keep That's the distance true. element to it, Good point. whatever your preferences are there. But um, somebody who wants forged, loves the classic look, yep. very appealing in the bag. It looks great. Right? Really, it's very traditional. Really looking, nice. Yep. Comboed up if, if, if you decide to. This will tick a, a lot one. of boxes. And the forged body is good, so you can bend. I mean, I, you know, I've done a little adjustment to to actually to this one, it, whoever tried it previous to me had them playing two and a half upright and playing my irons right now, one degree flat. Right. And three degrees came off it like butter. Nice. Yeah, so easy. That's good. That's what you like about the Strix on one too. Yeah. Same kind of feature. That sounded really nice. That was better, yeah. Yeah. It's a good sound. It's, you can tell that it's got a lot of pop to mm -hmm. it. I don't think it sounds techy though, personally. I don't no. think it sounds clicky. It just sounds very strong. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, th those so are, good. I hate to say it, but those are all missed a little bit. Yeah. And, and you're, you're not really great. seeing much of a, a, a miss pattern from it. I think the person that's looking at that iron would, would probably be honest with himself and say, I'm not going to be hitting the middle yeah. of the face every time. Definitely. I'm going to at least miss hit, I don't know, three out of five shots. Mm. I don't, I don't want to be punished. I don't think you're being punished here hardly at all. No. You basically hit the green every single time. No. No, they feel good. Awesome. Um, that's that's a, that's a really nice iron. Well, I'm curious how this will be this uh, the V model here. That sounded nice. I might go in. Stay online. Ooh. This one is more like the Mura yeah. feel. It sounds that way. Does it? It sounds more traditional. A softness. So that'll be interesting. Keep an eye on it, because that, like, that was the thin one with the okay. P. Looks like I think that down may have lost 10 yards. Ball speed, oh yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So your first couple thin ones with the P yep. were around 131 ball speed. Yeah. Your efficiency was like 1.4 or 1.41. Yep. So this is, this is a perfect illustration of, of what Iron forgiveness mm -hmm. does. Yeah, those irons are really nice. It's not that they're not forgiving, but yeah. you literally just saw what happens. It's seven yeah. or eight yards on a miss hit. Do it, chances. <clears throat> that one sounded a little more high in the face, eh? Mm -hmm. So when you strike one, obviously centered. Yeah. You can actually get almost as much ball speed out of it as the other iron. It, it, yeah. But it kind of seems like you had to swing a bit faster there. Uh -huh. The efficiency numbers are, are they're, they're, I shouldn't say they're low. They aren't low. They're just traditional iron mm -hmm. efficiency, whereas yeah. the P had like hybrid efficiency. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's, that's what Cupface offers. That's why irons have evolved ha into having more wood-like DNA because they're multi-material. Yeah. They're multi-piece. Absolutely. Um, and that's, that's exactly what, it, what it's going to give you. I mean, that's a, probably a 200, 200, 202 yard carry with the other head. Yes, extra ball you know, 193 speed. there. So it's, it, we talked about the launch conditions at the start, 17 and just shy of 55. Yeah. 
You'd be pretty happy with this. I think so, yeah. You've definitely gotten, you'd say you definitely get a little bit more spin out of this. Yeah. Obviously, just due to the extra loft. Mm -hmm. That sounded like your best one. Yeah, that was good. Very nice. But like you say, like, I'm, I'm, you know, probably swinging a little bit quicker right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm just keeping on efficiency. Efficiency's been down a little bit, swing speed's a little quicker. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting though. A little bit yeah. more launch, a little bit more spin. I love those numbers. It's really nice. It's actually some of the better iron numbers I've seen you have. Mm -hmm. Really nice um, ball flight. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. It would definitely make a good combo set. I think good. these two, wouldn't it? Yeah. So when we put them side by side, kind of the average of the two, it's doing what we expected. There's no doubt the P has got a little bit less spin, mm -hmm. slightly lower launch with the loft, I guess. And it's good for a few more yards. Your, your longish, I, I think if you really warmed into it with, with the P, yeah. be more like a 200 club for you. I flipped club. that test around, like you say, if I had done this one first, warming into the first few swings, yeah. and then hit that one second, I think that four yard carry number might have been seven. It, it should be, Eight. so the club head speed and efficiency numbers were obviously less club head speed with the first one, yeah. efficiency was like 0.5 different. So yeah. there's no doubt, the P is a faster poppier iron More at the exact same club head speed. Definitely. Yeah. So what I'm seeing with this, the, uh, the V model, these numbers here, 16, 550, 300 with a six iron, those are good. Yeah. Like that's a nice amount of spin for you. It's not too high. It's not like it's a super spinny iron, but for someone that doesn't want to start mm -hmm. knuckling it and wants to have control in the rough, that seems like a really good choice. And it's forgiving enough. Yeah, oh, definitely More forgiving More forgiving than enough. like a really small cavity uh, from other companies. Yep. There's a couple that I missed in there, and we, there was that one that dipped down into the 127 mark. Yes, from ball speed the standpoint. one that was a bit lower in the face. But there was, uh, the rest of them were, were really, really well protected. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to getting that, that X model in. Yep. There is a blade model too. There's I a know. B. Mm -hmm. So there's some handsome stuff there. So hopefully do those in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, definitely. That, that might make our sort of early testing for, for the 2021 season, because I think we do want to make sure people know about these ones. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, Honma, obviously the transition, they, they made a splash with, with Justin Rose being on staff yeah. and then he left staff and then it's kind of went probably a bit quiet while they regroup. I agree. There's probably a bit of that going on in the, in the background and I expect to hear a little bit more from them come uh, 2021. And I'll, I'll be interested to see if they've taken the budget that they allocated to Justin Rose and maybe they've mm. picked up two or three other players. Yeah, because he would have been a very high ticket uh, player, yeah. no doubt. It wouldn't take much, you're right. I think at this point, awareness seems to be their issue because the price on these isn't outrageous. No. They're not, I don't know, I don't think they're more expensive than something like a Mizuno. Definitely not, very um, light. And a Titleist and all that. these. Titleist and Mizuno. Yeah. So they're probably going to battle a bit of that bias. People think that they're gold irons and they're yeah. six grand, but these are as reasonable as anything else. Yeah. And they're like Strixon, you just have to give them a shot. Yeah. I think people would quite like the look of them. They're so understated looking. I think that's a bit... Um, What's the word for it? It's a bit rare these days yeah. to have an iron badge at the back. There's not a ton of color. It's just very simple. I think people will appreciate that. I think so as well. And I think that's that's what you kind of get a little bit out the you know the Japanese yeah, models. Yeah. Uh, you tend to get a little bit more of uh, a kind of, like you say, an understated yeah. design. You don't see too much bold coloring and stuff Definitely. like that. So Very nice. So those will be probably part of quite a few head-to-heads. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that um, in a future one, do some Strixon side by side and that's stuff. That's a natural one. That, It'd that, be good, uh, right? That Strixon um, TR20 head to head is a very natural one. Well, comments if you want to see that. I'm yeah. pretty sure we'll do it though yeah. in the upcoming weeks. I'd be curious to hear uh, from people who have already purchased them. Like we said, Definitely. it's not like this one just came out. Nope. It's been out for a little bit of time. So I will uh, be really curious to hear if somebody has played them for a period, if they've loved them, if they didn't love them, whatever, whatever the thoughts may be. Definitely let us know if you are the proud owner or even if you demoed yeah. them and you went with something else, let us know why. Um, but I, I think we're both pretty impressed yeah. with uh, the look and feel and the performance of them. Yeah, like them a lot. Awesome. Okay, well, there'll be at least two more Hanma Iron reviews coming pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And there is new woods and stuff coming yes. in the new year. So yeah. if you are a Hanma fan, you will not be neglected much longer. We'll be doing some more Hanma. Absolutely. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.